protect yourselves at all times, and most importantly, obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, bang at the ball. God bless. To a bigger fish as he puts it, but what an atmosphere to kick things off. And hey, all I can say is Mongolia represent. <laughs> as Russell is in the gray fur with black, Nyambayar is in the black with gold. Mongolia travels well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see as Nyambayar starts to get a, a sense of the speed of Russell if he feels he can handle it, if he tries to make try to make an attempt on any of the timing. It's gonna probably take him a round or two to even get the gist of it. Because that's how fast Russell is. Yeah, Russell coming out with purpose here. You know, he's throwing some good shots. Russell throws about 72 punches per round. Nyambayar only throws about oh, 50. Russell he's, he just may landed to, a left. He may have to up the total in this if he's going to win these rounds for Russell. Only title is born in Mongolia has been Lakva Sim, the 130 and 135 pound titleist in 99 and 04. Twice Sim lost the title in his first defense. Like Sim, Nyambayar was born in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, which is, of course, the capital and I think many of those three million people in Mongolia made the trek to yeah. Allentown. You know, uh, Nyambayar is fighting short. He's not fighting tall. He, he, and so, if you're going to do that, you had better come in and engage, if you can, get past that hand speed. Russell almost universally ranked second at 126 behind the unbeaten Josh Warrington of the United Kingdom, who holds a win over Carl Frampton. Warrington's had a terrific couple years. Minute and a half gone in the opening round. Gary Russell has a terrific right hook. Not all lefties do. He scored nine knockdowns with that right hook. So it's a weapon that Nyambayar, who's been knocked down with the right hand, has to be aware of. Nyambayar saying that he's more of a pressure fighter, but that he can adapt his style. Depends on his opponent while he is facing one of the best. And as we talk about Russell's blinding hand speed. We know Nyambayar has talked about his impeccable timing and it will have to be perfect. There's one thing to keep in mind Russell. here. Nyambayar is not giving ground on anything Russell is doing. It's it's not it's not that he's it's not that Russell is not gonna land his shots, but it's gonna put some mental pressure on Russell. Oh Russell stumbled and referee Gary Rosado rules it a it slip. A and that's the you got to be careful with a lefty versus righty. Yep. A lot of officials do not check for that. Lefty versus righty, you always have to be careful for the feet tangling and causing trip-ups. And uh, there was a right hand in there. It, was, it didn't create the knockdown, but Nyambiar has a very good right hand. That's his, made, his big power punch. And Russell, in his 32nd professional fight, has never been knocked down. Nyambiar has twice been knocked down against Osir Escondon, their common opponent. Russell stopped him in seven, Nyambayar stopped him in three. Back to win both of those fights since he's 11-0 coming into this fight. A Hall of Famer, Felix Trinidad, notorious for getting knocked out and going on to win the fight. The knockdown serving as an alarm clock. And there's that hand speed, the triple pump of the jab by Russell. And again, what, I'm, what I was trying to get to before the slip, good left oh, hands there by Russell. Double left hands by Russell. Even if Russell's landing, I'm not giving up a lot of ground, so what he's trying to do is break Russell mentally. Let's we'll see if how Russell handles this kind of pressure as the fight wears on. Right now, obviously with full energy, he's landing some sharp shots. Nyambar are not being discouraged. You know, Russell, of course, their nickname Manuel Groundhog, Gary, all of the, the wisecracks that have been made. Here's a guy who, when you ask him about his legacy, he says his legacy is his family. Proud father of six kids, and he's done very well for himself doing it his way. And, and this guy's been a prodigy. I mean, at the age of four, you guys, he was shadow boxing for money with local DC stars like Keith Holmes, William Joppy, and Sharpay Mitchell. <laughs> There's a nice right hand by Nyan Barr. And, and you know, when he gets the range on that punch, we're gonna find out how well Russell takes it. He's bound to land one or two somewhere along the line here. Right minute now, and a half gone in round two. Go ahead, Pauly. Now right now, Russell also not has, has not put all the full weight on his shots either. He's just trying, he's shooting just enough to land some shots right. and touch Nyan Barr. Hasn't discouraged, but it is, the sharpshooting is probably winning the rounds for Russell. 
And you know, people always wonder, when will rust become a factor for Gary Russell Jr., who, let's face it, Jim Matt stays in the gym year-round, working with his father and his brothers. And, and you look back throughout the sports history, guys like Bernard Hopkins, Vitaly Klitschko, and others who have successfully returned from long layoffs. No longer a universal truth, is it, Al, that a no. long layoff guarantees ring rust? It, it, it isn't, and that started with Floyd Mayweather, of course, is a special athlete who was able to do that. And he and Russell have, have both done that. Uh, and we mentioned Miami himself coming in off a long layoff. Longer layoff than Russell. Yeah. But of course, as we mentioned, Iambiar, after beating Claudio Marrero, waiting for his opportunity to vie for this championship. He is the mandatory. And Russell says, hey, I'll wait for my mandatories unless they're the big names. He's talked about wanting to face Leo Santa Cruz, Javante Davis. But right now, many people feel that Nyambayar will prove to be the toughest tense since Russell's lone loss to Vasily Lomachenko. Of course, Joseph Diaz also acquitted himself well in the loss to Russell. And we saw Jojo Diaz win a 130-pound belt last week. Well, it has been a long day for Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. averages 36 jabs around. He doesn't land a lot, but uses that punch very much as a rain finder, and he has thrown over 80 jabs already in this in this fight. So it's a part of him setting up his left hand and getting beginning his combinations. And Nyambar trying to parry the jab and fire off a right of his own as Russell flashing the lightning quick jabs. Nyambar holding his positioning and, 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 and looking for an error from Russell, maybe reaching in or something. But the, the problem that Nyambar has is Russell also has a great sense of positioning. So even when he throws his shots, his balance never really betrays him. And uh, Nyambar turned professional in 2015 at 122 pounds. 11-0 with nine knockouts. But it's Gary Russell establishing the jab here in round number three. Fires off a left hand. Nyambar hasn't gotten in close enough. I mentioned the double left hook. He is capable of that, but you have to be in a position to throw that wow, punch. Triple jab. And he hasn't gotten there. And that's the thing that Russell's doing with that jab. Even if it's not always landing, just showing it out there and with, with solid balance behind you, Nyambar has to know it can be followed by a left hand or a right hook, so he can't really react to it. And you talk about Gary Russell Jr.'s power, highlight one-punch KOs, Herberto Ruiz, Roberto Castaneda. I mean, when he has pop out. He does, and you know, he had hand problems earlier in his, yes, career, his career, but those have abated, and, uh, and he's been... Well, and it helps when you only fight once a year. Your hands tend to stay healthy. That's absolutely true. Oh, there's a shot that lands on the jaw of Nyambayar. Kind of a half hook, half jab by him, Russell. And we're cutting the ring off right away. He's trying to stay in Russell's head. See the sense of position. They're fighting at a close distance, even if not a lot is happening. And he's trying to put that mental pressure. Russell goes downstairs with the jab. And by our high guard. Holding his ground, as Polly has mentioned, and trying to find a way to... Yeah, solve thing, the riddle of Gary Russell. Thing, the thing about the mental pressure is it's designed to try to get your opponent, who may have the advantages, to panic and maybe make some errors. The problem with Russell is I don't think you're going to get him to panic unless you can start hitting him with some clean shots. Yeah, he's very self-confident in there. Nyambay are momentarily bothering Russell, and Russell coming back fast and again pumps out that double jab. Finals, 10 seconds of the third round, and yes, this chess match continues to unfold in the ring as Nyan Bayar had Russell in the corner. Fell in love with the sport of boxing when he was just five years of age. Used to, uh, well, hit the heavy bag with his grandfather, idolized Manny Pacquiao on his come up, had 150 amateur fights, and Olympic silver medalist, and now here tonight, the biggest opportunity of his burgeoning career. And obviously, you know, the, the hand speed has been the difference in this fight, as it often is with Russell and, and some of his, and his opponents. Faster and, than 5G, Al. Yeah, well put. 
in looking for his fifth successful title defense. And, and Paulie, when you look now here at the beginning of round four, you've talked about Nyambayar holding his ground. Uh, what else are you noticing from the challenger that may behoove him as the fight unfolds? Well, he's got, I, I think um, his trainer, Ace Malsalas, made a good point. You know, he's got to get busier with the jab. You know, you've got to, uh, you, you risk Russell countering you with his left hand with, if you're not careful when you're busy with the jab, but you've got to oh. use that jab. Good counter combination by Russell. Because you, you want to try to disrupt Russell's positioning. Your, your sense of positioning is good, but you're not able to land some shots. So you know, maybe you need to disrupt Russell's sense of positioning a little bit. And one way to try to do that, at least, is by using your jab. Oh, Gary Russell Jr. definitely has utilized his jab effectively as we near the midway point of the fourth frame. And we look at the uh, total punches thus far, Al. And uh, I mentioned that Russell throws more in general than Nyambar does, and we've seen evidence of that. He's much busier. Nyambar, his right now in this fight, it's kind of boiling down to the fact that he can't keep Russell from moving to his right when he wants to and, and getting the right positioning. And the other thing is Nyambar has got to land some right hand that makes a difference in this fight. Final minute of the fourth, and of course, Gary Russell Jr., 126-pound belt holder, other champions. For now, Leo Santa Cruz, of course, recently won 130-pound title. Josh Warrington and Shakur Stevenson all laying claim to a piece of the 126-pound crown. Russell flashes the jab and then lands a left hand as Nyambayar backs away momentarily before attacking the body with a right. There's the quick right hand from Nyambayar. That, that's the kind of punch that he would normally land against opponents, but in this match, he hasn't been able to. Nyambar needs to start using some paints. You know, yeah. Something, maybe something simple like that. Gary Russell Jr., amateur standout with around 150 fights. He actually holds a victory over Leo Santa Cruz, someone that he has mentioned many times as one of the big fights he would like to secure, of course, tonight, looking to stave off the challenge of Tukstan Nyambayar. Nyambayar's corner wants him to throw more punches. thing to say to throw more punches and it's another to actually you know help him cut the distance he's trying to close the gap he's doing everything right in terms of cutting the ring down keep keeping the, the right kind of pressure on Russell Shot I, I think I think he's gonna need to have some double jabs yes. and some feints in there to, to, to help him close the gap he's well, and Salas did mention a double jab and that would help him get inside in a little better position there he throws that the left hook to, to the, the body, body by Nyan Bayar And Gary Russell Jr., also an Olympian, unable to compete due to problems making weight at the 2008 Olympics. This crowd excited that that right hand almost got in, and there's one that did get there for Nyan Bear. And I, I, you know, Celis is right to talk about the double jab because it, it puts him in position. And there you look what it did. It put him in a position where he, he pretty much got a right hand. Because if you get close to yeah, Russell. Yes, going on. And Russell again. If you, get, if you get close to Russell without putting him out of position, he's still going to have you missing. So you want to disrupt his rhythm, put him out of position with the jab. And then that way, when you follow it up with the combination, you may land some shots. If you get close and then just throw your shots, he's been smothering you and he's been slipping and sliding still regardless. That jab is key. And I, I, again, I'll go back to what I said before. I think feints are key as well. Russell doing a good job, though. And there was a left hook as Russell stepped to his right. We haven't seen that from Nyambayar. He hasn't stopped Russell from getting to his right. Man, incredible support for yeah, Nyambayar from this vocal Mongolian contingent in Allentown, <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> of all things. Who knew? So 
too. It's that last step of getting in, and that's where Russell has the most control here. He well, for Gary Russell Jr., it is a family right affair. Here. His dad is in his corner, and right uh, Steve Farhead has more about the father-son connections. Al uh, Russell is trained by his father, Nayan Bayar, trained by Ismail Salas, the 62-year-old native of Cuba, the former head coach of Cuba's Guantanamo Amateur team for 15 years. Who oh, and Nayan Bayar lands a right hand. You can feel the urgency of Nayan Bayar. He's now. He said, "Now I'm going to take chances." And that's what he's trying to do. Salas trained three-time Olympic heavyweight gold medalist Felix Sabon, among many others. You know, he has a good uppercut, Diane Barr, and I mentioned that at the beginning. He's in position to throw it on three or four different occasions, has not tried that punch. Well, Russell's quick to the trigger, so if you got, you've got to time it just right. Well, you do, but and, and only on a couple of occasions has he been there to try it. Because if you don't do, if you take it from too far out in the wrong spot, you'll get countered with that left hand. Russell's jab has been protecting that distance here. You know, again, he's talking about that mental pressure. And Ironbar gets to a certain distance, and then that last step always betrays him. He's not able to close it, and a big reason for that is Gary Russell's jab. Ironbar pressuring though. Russell. And, that and of course, anything Nyan Bayar does, whether successful no. or not, will get a big rise from the Mongolian But, but the reason Nyan Bayar was able to do that is because he used his own jab. And again, we go back to you know, what Al was saying before with, with, with Salas. Straight right hand by Nyan Bayar, but again, a counter combination by Russell as they exchange. And there we saw Nyan Bayar trying to use that left hook to the body and the head, which is an important thing for him to do. And he's, the last two rounds have been a, at least a subtle change in this fight in that Nyan Bayar has gotten close enough and made some things work. An amazing atmosphere here at the PPL Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania for this main event. The undefeated Nyan Bayar in just his 12th professional fight, looking to become a 126-pound title holder, while Gary Russell Jr. hopes to defend the title for the fifth successful time and then perhaps move on up if he can't get the big money fights at 126 but of course he needs to pass the Tukstadnayanbayar test and so far so good yeah he's, he's certainly done well in this fight even though Nyambayar has done a little bit better in his last couple of rounds and this is not an easy fight for Russell Nyambayar is, is a good fighter you're just not getting to appreciate all of it because Russell is, is also neutralizing a lot of what he does well, but Nyambayo understands what he has to do, and he's, he's fighting an intelligent fight despite being behind. Right, I agree. Nyambayo faints with the right. Russell pumps up the jab, doesn't connect, but again, keeping Nyambayo from firing punches. Nyambayo with a double pump, straight left down the middle, connects for Russell as we head to round seven. Round number seven, the champion Gary Russell Jr. in the gray fur with black trunks, while the challenger, the undefeated Tukstad Nyambayar, is in the black with gold trunks. Mauro Ranallo, Al Bernstein, Polly Malinaji at ringside, joined by Brian Custer, Jim Gray, Steve Farhood, as we are off to a terrific starter in the seven. here by Russell. He came out high guard, looking to fight. He's giving Nyambar on what he wants. But of course, this seems to be what Russell wants as well. Lead left to the body by Russell. And bringing in our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood. How do you have it after half of this championship fight? Well, the first few rounds were very easy to score. They were clearly for Gary Russell. You know, in, in ju judging the effectiveness of that jab of Russell, he's landing a very low percentage. But when he throws it with his right arm extended, it's far less effective than when he pops it from the shoulder. I think the judges have to look at that to determine if the jab is effective enough to carry the rounds. But otherwise, I think the sixth round was very close. Could have been Nayim Niambuya's round. Otherwise, Russell by four points. Nayim by arm. Moving forward, those punches are blocked by the high guard of Russell. A key moment there where he threw the left hook, Nyambiar, to try and position Russell and keep him in front of him. There's that is right something he hasn't not done in this fight enough. There, a high guard by Russell. Nyambiar getting offensive, but again throwing the one-two, bouncing it off the gloves of Russell. Now, Russell.
Nelson marching forward with a series of lead left hands to start his combinations. Left hook to the body for Nyambayar. Good exchange here, Nyambayar with an uptick in the offense. Well, this has been created by Russell coming forward and wanting to engage. Yeah, a bit of a change of approach here by Gary Russell. Yes, and, and he often does that in fights. And I think he's also trying to send a, send a mental, mm -hmm. mental, psychological message to Nyambayar to not get too comfortable walking him down. Mm -hmm. What do you think of uh, Russell's uh, trunks tonight? Something that may have been in your wardrobe uh, closet, no? You know, I always approve of that flashy stuff. <laughs> Good sense of fashion from Russell. Under 30 seconds left in the seventh, right hand of the body by Nyambayar. And there's a left hook to the body, but now Russell showing his speed, but good, good exchanges here. Nine, yeah, good exchanges in round seven. Very important for him to go downstairs, and he's he's doing that in this and, round. And, and that's one thing Nyambar gets an opportunity to do if Russell decides to become aggressive, is now he's kind of backed off of that. But Russell takes the chances. Yeah, I know he wants to send a mental a psychological message there to Nyambar, but in coming forward, Nyambar can reach the body, which has been so, which has eluded him, and when he's got to come forward. He felt he was a little too stiff and predictable before. Working on his defense and counters. Nyambayar was able to throw 73 punches in that last round. That was his high in the fight. And part of that was because Russell came in and engaged him. There's a right uppercut, but then the counter right hook by Russell was a more eye-catching shot. And you know what's interesting about that? Now he tries the uppercut again. He needs to throw it, even though he got countered oh, by Russell. Nyambayar out of range of the jab, and now mugging, and there's Russell unloading the hand speed, and things now becoming a little more interesting here in round eight. I think a little bit of frustration from Nyambayar. Yeah, trying to show that, that ego to Russell that he's not being hurt, but... He also can't reach him for the effective shots as uh, Russell throwing the impressive combination there. Nyambayar, four years younger than the 31-year-old Russell. Backing Russell to the ropes, or perhaps Russell trying to set a trap. of King Tug as the Mongolian contingent hoping that Nyambayar dethrones Russell and uh, Russell able to pivot away from the corner back to the center of the ring a minute and a half remaining in the eighth. Well, we talk about uh, the sheer number of jabs that Russell throws, and it is extraordinary. He doesn't land a lot. He never does, but it, it's a punch that does other good for him, and the lack of jabbing by Nyambayar has been important because it hasn't let him set up his other punches. Minute left here in round eight. Talk about Nyambar's sense of timing. He was saying, saying that it was timing was going to be important. As Russell keeps using that jab, it's that same speed jab. You, you've got to come up with a way to time it with a counter right hand or something. If Russell, if Russell, if Russell is this confident to throw his jab, whether it's landing or not, right. it's going to control the real estate and the gap, the distance that he wants. So some good shots there. Nyambar landed in that little sequence a second ago. Really highly skilled fighter. Nobody's able to land that crisp, clean shot they want to. Even when they're throwing power shots, they're not able to land at 100% effectiveness. Both guys really fighting a disciplined fight. Straight left lands for Russell. Another left hand lands for the champion. Ten seconds left in the eighth round. High level chess here between Russell and Nyambayar as we head to round number nine. Baby. Come on, who in the corner? Who in the ring? Big up, baby. Yeah. 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 Take a look at the right hand fry, one of the best right hands that Nyambayar has thrown in this fight, and that's his power punch. But for Gary Russell, it is the right hand that does the damage for him for the most part as a power punch. 
And there's a straight left hand, but that's a, a straight left by Russell that gets in there. for 12 in this 126 pound title tilt the champion gary russell jr comes out firing <laughs> left hook to the body by nyan by arm left hook upstairs by nyan by arm You can see that Nyan is a technically oh, kind of sound fighter. By Russell, so yeah, but, and there's a nice left hook. It's Russell's hand speed and overall ring generalship that is difficult for him. And also the thing is, he's, Russell is also brilliantly technically sound. So Right, they, exactly. They're both very technically sound right. fighters. It's just Russell has, a better, has the better hand speed. Yes. And that's what that's Russell speed. told us, his ring generalship, IQ, hand speed would all be the difference in this title defense. For a boxing purist, this is actually a, an interesting fight to watch. You know, because both guys are very technically sound boxers. Both are very well schooled, very well taught. His, I mean, Gary Russell Jr.'s father pointed out that Lambert is a B plus, uh, a B plus fighter, which is what he is. We we just haven't seen Gary Russell in his, against A fighters. We did once. He lost to Lomachenko. Yeah, that's like an A plus 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 fighter. Well, exactly. But you know, Russell landing with the counter left upstairs. A minute and a half remaining in the ninth. And let's now let's give credit to Giorgio Diaz. I mean, Russell yeah, he fought very well. And yeah, and he was a very good fighter. And Russell won a clear decision in that fight. Yes. Diaz had good moments early, but Three then punch Russell combination by Nyan Bayar, but it was the counter right by Russell that landed. Right to the body by Russell. Minute left to the night. Good body shots there by Nyan Bayar. Yeah, he's going to have to try to make it as rough as he can. Yeah, he's having a better round here in round nine. There's no question about yeah, that. And in getting this close, at this point in the fight, maybe he can finally get to the body the way he wants to. Right, and he has landed a few more down there. He's gotten a little closer in this round, and maybe it's the fatigue of Russell, mm -hmm. of, of Russell or, or what, or maybe Russell allowing him in. Let's see, if you're allowing him in, means you're baiting him for something. Let's see what Russell has up his sleeve. Another left hook downstairs by Nyan Bayar as Russell targets the head with the one-two. There's another counter right by Nyan Bayar. This has been by far the most entertaining round of the fight. There's no question There's about a that. There's a punch combination for the Mongolian. Yeah, he's having himself a good round. Mm -hmm. 15 seconds left in the ninth. This is round 10, and Gary Russell Jr. showcasing that hand speed, a couple of lead rights, and now Nyambayar coming back with a combination of his own to the body. Russell firing off the jab. Nyambayar able to sneak in a punch. Left uppercut by Nyambayar scores. And when Russell engages him like this, what happens is you get to see a little bit of what Nyambayar is capable of. Even if he gets countered by Russell, it makes for a very intriguing, you know, back and forth between the fighters. Yeah, Russell may be up on the fight, but Nyambayar is forcing him to work, and, and, yeah. and it's and, and it, and there's pressure on Russell. Russell utilizing deft head movement. Behind the jab, there's Nyambiar with a right hand that and was blocked by Russell. Watch how he off the ring right away. You see what I'm saying? That's what about, the, you make the physical pressure, but also the mental pressure. And he's back in his face. Good move there by Russell to get out of the danger. Lead left lands for Russell. Backing up again. The total power punches, again, everything other than a jab, as you look at them, and you see that also has, oh, here comes Nyambiar with his best combination of the fight. Those numbers notwithstanding, you see Nyambiar coming back with some, doing good work that he's done in the last round or two. Minute and a half left in the tenth. And the numbers were very close there in terms of that, and the one of the differences is the jab of Russell. 
Lead right hand for Nyambayar scores. Left hook up wow. down. Nyambayar scoring with these combinations. That left hook was potent. Nyambayar having himself some good rounds. Sure last couple is. Rounds. Yeah. Minute now remaining in the tenth round, and Nyambayar. Counting, acquitting himself well here, but Gary Russell Jr. holding his ground, firing off a left hand, left hook there blocked by Russell. But Diane Bayar initiating the offense as Russell now tries to fire back the jab. Side to side, good head movement by Russell. So good defense from Nyan Bayar as well. Yeah. High level stuff here. Yeah, at, at close range. Both guys again keeping their positioning on the defensive end. Good counter there by Nyan Bayar. Now he's got to do more of that. He's got to in order to take away the enthusiasm from Russell of throwing that speed the way he throws it. Good There's shot. another left hand that lands for Gary Russell Jr. Good stuff here in round 10 as we are headed to the championship rounds. Gary Russell's 126 pound title up for grabs here in Allentown, PA. Took Scott Nyambayar 11 and 0, but Gary Russell Jr. fires off the first salvo and things heating up here in the championship rounds. Yeah, and, and Russell doing some good shots to the head and Nyambayar doing some good work to the body. If you were in Nyambayar's corner, and I know he has one of the best in his corner, but Paulie, what would you be telling Nyambayar in these last few rounds? I think he's got to back Gary Russell up and move his hands. I mean, at this point, he's got a bit of a tired Gary Russell, so if you move your hands, you're not going to pay as much of a price with the counter shots of Russell, and you're going to be able to also target the body a bit better to keep slowing him down. And exactly. he's right. doing just that. Nyambayar bringing the fight to Russell here in the 11th. Russell comes back with a counter left, and Al talk about Gary Russell Jr. and what he needs to do to, to secure this yeah, title I, victory. Yeah, I think part, he wants to keep Nyambayar off so he's pushing forward, but his danger is he's getting hit with some body shots as well. And, you know, but if, of course, he's right near the end of this fight. If he can steal a round, uh, you know, and he's probably, he potentially is ahead already, but he's taking some vicious body punches you by know, you know what it is with, you know what it is with the coming forward sometimes you're trying to put up some psychological yeah. thoughts into your opponent's mind if you're walking him down he's gonna think you, you're exactly. hoping that he thinks hey i'm not slowing down that's i'm gonna it. walk you down Precisely. you're hoping that he thinks that even if you are tired yeah that's but, exactly but you're right. trying to send that statement so that maybe he'll slow down from pressuring you Body shots landed Nyan Bayar with the edge and coming into this fight, of course, many uh, ringside observers, many experts, mm. despite the fact that Nyan Bayar may not have been the most widely known, thought that this would be a tough test for Gary Russell Jr. Uh, how much of a test has it been? Well, it's turning into one a little bit here towards oh, the end nice of this fight. And there's the right Russell. hook of Russell. Now that right hook of Russell hurts people. Uh, Nyan Bayar has taken it very well. level boxing on display as anticipated here two olympians the undefeated challenger a champion considered one of the elite at 126 pounds and yes people would love to see more of gary russell jr because of his dynamic talents and we are in for what promises to be a dynamic finish here with 30 seconds left in the 11th Talked about Russell getting a little, maybe a little fatigued. Nyambayar, I think, in this round toward the end, has shown a little wear and tear. Why not? It's a bit fatigue of... makes entertaining fights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Play a definite sense of urgency from Nyambayar and Gary Russell Jr. holding his ground. 
no matter what the outcome, it's been kind of a different fight in the last four or five rounds where we've seen these exchanges, we've seen a, a, a better competition in a sense between these two men. Yeah, and, and again, I mean, the subtle things that you can really appreciate between these two fighters, you know? And let's let the crowd at home enjoy some of this atmosphere. And of course, as I say that, they quiet down, but it has been an electric atmosphere here at the PPL Center. with that combination. He's throwing some hellacious body shots right now. And he's, he's, he's had a lot more success in the second part of the fight. Yeah, no question. The question is, did he do it up in the first part of the fight? Right. And I'm not sure he did. That's the issue. Well, Turks Dot and I am by in his wow. 12th professional fight, acquitting himself well here against, again, <laughs> one of the elite fighters in the sport, regardless of his schedule, Gary Russell Jr. having lost just once to one of the very best in Vasily Lomachenko. Nyambar is having himself a very good 12th round here. Some really big body shots and some shots to the head as well. So and credit to Russell too. I, you know, I mentioned the fact that Nyambar doesn't lose his positioning when Russell's throwing and landing nice. shots. Steve Prince, Bob and Weir. Russell doesn't really lose positioning either, even when he does get no. hit. Terrific stuff here, and Gary Russell Jr. smiling. And, They're at that and, range. And the importance of not losing your positioning is you need your opponent to feel like he's in danger of something coming back. If you lose your positioning, your opponent will know nothing can come back at him, so he's going to be more enthusiastic to throw more shots. Tiny little bit of swelling underneath the left eye of Russell. That's courtesy of some of those right hands by Nyambayar. But Nyambayar, right now, he needs to get going because he's got to do something to him at it even though he's probably won this round. Final 30 seconds of this championship fight. Earlier tonight, we saw Gary Russell Jr. defeat his younger brother in a game of chess. Is he going to defeat Tukstat Nyanbayar in what has been this high level game of boxing chess? Final 15 seconds. Gary Russell Jr. took Stott Nyambayar go the distance in a competitive contest. All three in favor of the winner. And still the WBC 